What is up guys? Um, last time you were here, we were working in our display class and we added our action performed method and our return method for JTextMain. So now let's work on our colors. So if you remember, when we launch our program, we have um, a drop down box of colors that we can select from and they will change the colors on the uh, JText pane. So now let's actually make that work. The way we do that is we have our color management class which we created um, inside our project. Now in this uh, class we are going to be selecting our colors and working with them. So it's going to be actually very simple. Um, these next few tutorials are a lot faster than the uh, display class so get excited for that. So in public class, what we're going to do is we're going to create a method. This method will be called select color and it will be a void method, so it won't return anything. But before we do that, we're going to create a variable. Let's create a variable called color. So the reason I typed color color is because this variable is, well, a color. I know I've been saying that a lot and eventually the word's going to feel like it's lost its meaning, but until then, just work with it. So what this pretty much means is that I've declared a variable of type color. So let's create our method. So let's type public void select color. And we'll pass in an argument, which is a string called selection. So selection pretty much means what we literally selected as a color. So the way we do this is we type if selection dot equals red and then I'm going to speed this part up but I'm literally going to be typing if selection dot equals and a bunch of colors so um, just look in the description for all of these guys I'm typing Okay, there we go. So I've typed out all of these if statements. Um, and what they pretty much mean um, is that it's going to check if any of these are these certain colors. So it's literally going to run through this list and it's going to say, have they chosen red? No. Have they chosen blue? No. Have they chosen green? Yes, they've chosen green. And, you know, the same for all the other colors. So if we chose red, what do we want to do? Well, we want to set our color variable equal to color dot red. And of course, we're going to do all uppercase red. Then we'll set it to color equals color dot blue. And we'll do color equals color dot green. Oops. And then we'll do color equals color dot magenta because apparently uh, Java is a very fancy company and can't use purple purple and uh, excuse me fancy language and color equals color dot not orange okay orange and then color equals color dot black there we go so what we've done is we've set our color variable equal to all of these guys which are various colors. Then we're going to add a return method. And I explained this in the last tutorial with our display class, what a return method does. It returns, well, a value. That's all it does. Um, so we're going to make that by typing public, oops, not color, color, Jesus Christ. Okay, color, get, color. There we go. And now it's going to complain saying, hey, where's your return statement? Well, we can add one. Let's do return color. Because all we're doing is we're returning our color, which means if I call this method, I will get the current selected color. Simple as that. Now, that's enough for this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. And we will be going over fonts next. So get excited for that. See you.